after an impressive showing in the top showcase, Benny the Jet Rodriguez is one of the hottest prospects going into the MLB draft. Who will get the opportunity to draft this future all-star shortstop, but a guy who definitely needs to make some improvements in the field. Benny the Jet Rodriguez ready for the Major League Baseball Draft. Welcome everyone to this year's Major League Baseball First Year Player Draft. Today, the best up and coming baseball talent from around the country and the world, many of whom have just recently competed in the Topps Amateur Showcase, will begin their journey as professional baseball players. Today is a day these young men have been dreaming about and working towards their entire lives. We wish them all the best of luck and look forward to watching them develop into even greater ball players over the coming years. With that said, it's time to get started. The first pick is officially on the clock. With the first overall pick in this year's first year player draft, the Arizona Diamondbacks select Ricky Poe, a starting pitcher from the West region. With the second pick in the first round, the Colorado Rockies select Michael Iwamura, a relief pitcher from the West region. With the third pick of the first round, the Texas Rangers select Benny Rodriguez, a shortstop from the West region. Okay, so another top draft prospect is off the board after that selection. A lot of people, and of course his new organization, have high hopes for him. What do you guys think about his future? Well, I like this pick a lot. His talent certainly warrants him being taken early in the first round like this. And he looked very promising at the Topps Amateur Showcase. And from what I can tell, he definitely has the potential to be a very productive major leaguer sometime down the road. Yeah, his new organization has to be very excited about getting the opportunity to draft him. Well, like you said, Steve, he has looked very good leading up to today. I just hope he's really taken the time to enjoy this moment because it's a bit of a whirlwind, but it's also something he should cherish and celebrate with those that have helped him get to this point. I think we're all looking forward to watching him develop to see if he lives up to those high expectations everybody has for him. In the Texas League with today's installment of the Bowman Prospect Spotlight, Benny Rodriguez will be our man to watch. And he's making his double-A debut in this one after being the organization's first pick in the most recent first-year player draft. Yeah, there's a lot of excitement around him, Matt. He was targeted pretty heavily heading into the draft. They made it clear they were very happy they got the opportunity to draft him. And you know, he's still got a long road ahead of him before he makes his big league debut, but I'm pretty confident he'll be an impact player when he gets there. Now time to work hard and prove why he was worthy of being a first round pick. All right, guys, it is time to make our double A debut for the Frisco Rough Riders after being drafted third overall. Can't be making errors in the field, and we do make the very first throw, so feeling pretty good about that. Now it's time for our first at bat. Things can definitely go one way or another in this whole at-bat thing. I mean, you can certainly start things off hot in the double-A, or you can start things off very, very slow. I've seen a lot of people struggle in the Major League Baseball minor league system. So let's take a look and see what the Jet is going to do here. He takes a first strike there and then swings at a terrible pitch far and away. Not a good start for us. Definitely uh, struggling there. That was kind of a crazy pitch. The third pitch, though, does go away, and we're able to hold off on it. An 80-mile-per-hour pitch away. Got to try and hold off here and wait for the right pitch here. Another one down and away. He's trying to get us to swing at garbage here. He's only throwing one pitch out of four actually in the strike zone at this point. So we got to challenge him, make him throw something in the strike zone. He isn't going to do it there. So we're able to work this thing to a full count. 3-2 now. The pitcher has already made 34 pitches here in the bottom of the second. And we're going to slam this thing out into deep center field all the way to the warning track off the wall. And I nearly thought that thing was going to be caught. I thought that there was going to be a much better play on the ball by the outfielders. They did not make a good play. And we're in there for a double. Our very first hit in the double-A minor league system for the Frisco Rough Riders is a double. 
nice hit there. I mean, I, that thing was nearly a home run. He got a big piece of that, as you can see, nearly off the monster truck out there in deep right center field. Feeling pretty good about that one, man. Uh, it's definitely a good start for us. Second at bat now, and again, we're just going to try and make sure that we're waiting for the right pitch for us to take and hit out into the outfield. Got to make sure that we're waiting for the right pitch, like I said, and this one is the right pitch. We hit it out there to right field, an easy single for Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Another hit. We're two for two now, guys. Very good start here for the Jet, and we are definitely feeling it here. Unfortunately, we didn't really do anything on the base running pass, so uh, we'll skip right through that. And an easy play here in the field for us. Back up to bat now in the bottom of the seventh. 2-2 game here. Pitcher has already made 104 pitches. I'm, I was very surprised to see that. Typically in the minor leagues, they don't let their guys pitch 104 pitches, especially this early in the season. But again, we're going to make him pitch to us. We're definitely going to make him throw something to, it, to us in the strike zone before we decide to swing at it. Another pitch away. 0-2, or 2-0, excuse me, for us here in the count. Third pitch of the at-bat is down the middle, and whoa, we swing at it and miss the curveball. So very difficult to hit in this game. At least for me, it is. I don't know about you guys, but uh, definitely not an easy pitch for me to hit. This one up and in. The, again, guys, just easy pitches for us to hold off on here. 108 pitches. I can't believe that they let him go this long. And this one is down and away, and we are going to be able to take our first major league walk. Again, nothing really on the base running pass. I definitely will show if I, you know, attempt to steal or anything like that, but it's always, uh, you know, situational. I'm not just going to go ahead and go out there and steal every single time that I'm on first base. So I hope you guys understand that. It's kind of boring to just kind of show you guys when I'm standing on the base paths and the guy strikes out or they take seven freaking pitches, 10 pitches, you know, different things like that. It's just kind of boring to watch. So I want to make sure that I'm doing something that's entertaining. Unfortunately, here, our fourth at bat, we break our bat and we are going to get out here. So we got on base for our first three at bats. This one, we do not get on base. So that's unfortunate. But hey, three for four getting on base. I will definitely take that. Top of the ninth tier, no men on, and it's going to be an easy ground ball here. We are going to make a simple throw there. It was a bounce uh, throw, but still the first baseman was able to pick it, and we are going to get the out. Walking away with the win here, two for three as far as at-bats, and then we did take a walk as well. So a good start for us. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be back with more Major League Baseball here in the upcoming days, so be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.